Paganini, Vivaldi, Itchcock, Itchcock Perlman, all of these are, are famous for one thing, playing the violin. Um, since the beginning, um, when Italian artist Andrea Amati created the first violin, um, people have been picking up this skill and, um, and, get, and gaining the benefits from it. Now this is what we're going to, oh, gosh, kind of like what I have here, which is what we're going to be talking about today. So in this, we'll be talking about how to hold the instrument um, and how to play the actual notes. And then we'll talk about um, the benefits that come with learning how to play the violin. Before one can actually learn how to play the instrument, you have to learn how to hold the instrument correctly. Learning how to hold it correctly is probably one of the most important parts of learning how to play. Um, arguably, um, the biggest thing is having good posture. You wouldn't want to be sitting slunched or having your, your neck down or having your instrument pointing down like this. You want to have good posture sitting up and with it placed on your shoulder and your head on the chin rest. And on top of that, you wouldn't want your hand, you want your, your wrist to be straight. You don't ever want your wrist to be like this because that's going to mess with where your finger placement is and you're going to be out of tune. Now let's move on to bow holding. If you have a pencil on you, um, feel free to follow along. Um, if not, or not. Um, but th <laughs> the correct way to hold the bow is with your thumb underneath and your hands kind of curled around like this and your hand at kind of an angle. Your, your pinky should also be kind of on top here. And your hand should never, your, your hand should be just relaxed. Don't clench your hand trying to hold on to it. It's not going to fall out, I promise. So with that, you do have the basics down. Again, make sure your hand's relaxed and not tightened because that'll mess with your sound. Now let's move on to actually how to play. The main strings follow the treble clef and, um, and they just go from G, D, A to E, E as the highest. Now there's a lot of different um, positions you can go through, um, which is required to play. But right now we're just only going to focus on those four strings. Okay, now that we've gone over the notes, let's go over bow placement. When you play, the bow should sit between the fingerboard, which is this black thing, and, this, and the bridge, which is this wood piece. Go between there. Where you place the bow has a lot to do with the dynamics. For example, if you play a note closer to the bridge, it'll be a lot louder sound. If you're farther away, it'll be slightly quieter. Again, you want it between the bridge and the fingerboard. Now, a lot. this may seem like a lot to remember. And if it is, um, and if kind of coming up with the dynamics is too hard for you, I'd highly suggest you take up viola instead. And for really good reasons. I love violas. If, if anybody here plays violas, don't yell at me. <laughs> All right, now that we've gone over the basics of violin, um, let's talk about why should we play this when it's clearly a lot to remember and it takes a lot of practice to actually get a decent sound. Well, according to um, ConnollyMusic.com, um, learning to play a musical instrument such as the violin is, ex is excellent for brain development because um, it activates not only a part of your brain that, is that is responsible for listening to, listening to music, but you're also playing the music. 
and it um, gets your brain moving and rather than just sitting and playing video games or staring at a screen all day. On top of this, um, in my personal experience, I've gained a lot of um, relationships. I've made a lot of friends. And um, it's kind of given me a sense of togetherness and after joining orchestra since the sixth grade. And it's overall a great way to build, um, have bonding experience with people and share a common interest. Now with that, I hope you learned something. I hope you will um, consider taking up the violin. And do you even 40 hours, bro? That's it. That's terrible.